Hi y'all, my name is Mallory Paulino from Stay at Home Mallory. I make all kinds of homemaking and cleaning content and today's video is going to be a clean and organize with me. We don't have very much we need to clean because I cleaned up earlier today and it's about midday now so it's not super messy but I do have a few things I wanted to organize and maybe declutter so I figured I'd bring you guys along with me and that would be kind of fun. Also I know this intro is a little bit different than my normal one but I figured I'd mix it up just a little bit. So let me know in the comments below, do you like the voiceover intros like I normally do? If you haven't seen my previous videos, I just talk over what I'm showing, what I'm doing. Um, or do you like the face-to-face in-person intros? Because I'd be interested to know. Um, but anyways, I'm going to go ahead and stop talking and get to it. The very first thing I'm going to start with is organizing the cabinet in our master bathroom that's teeny tiny. And I know this isn't a very good angle, but my back was literally touching the wall behind me. I couldn't get like any better angle, but I'm going to start by cleaning it out, which I don't think I've like ever done. So it was really dirty as you can see. Then I'm going to put down some contact paper to cover up some of these like water spots and whatever else it is on the bottom. Then I have a couple of baskets to organize. We don't have tons of stuff that we keep in here, but I'm going to organize the few things that I do keep in here. I'm clearly no professional, so you'll see me struggle with this contact paper quite a bit, and it doesn't turn out perfect in the end. Like, there's a little bit hanging over the end that I couldn't quite trim all the way, but it looks way better than the dirty bottom of the cabinet, so I'm really happy with it. Also, Elijah was obviously super interested in what I was doing, and with the bathroom being so tiny, he was having to stand like right in front of the camera to see what I was doing, so that's why you're staring at like the back of his head most of this time. But you can kind of see what I'm doing, and I'm trying to fix the camera, but we're just working with what we got. And this is where I tried trimming off that little bit of extra paper that's hanging off the edge, but I couldn't get my scissors like flat against it and like get a good angle to cut it off. So I just leave it and just kind of like tuck it over the corner and just call it a day. Then we're gonna clean out these little baskets. I've had them sitting under the sink in this cabinet for a while, meaning to organize them, but I just hadn't gotten to it until today. So I'm gonna wipe them out real quick because they were a little dusty. And then we're going to put a couple of things in there and then we will move on to the closet. So I was actually wrong. First, we're going to do all these cords and electronics you always see tucked under the edge of this bed here. I got a little box that will fit under the bed because they're really easy to access right here under the bed and there's an outlet right there so it works perfectly but Elijah has figured out how to like take outlet covers off so he is very interested in like plugging things in so I'm going to put them in this box so he can't just easily get to them and start trying to like play with all the cords and whatnot trying to plug stuff in.
So now I'm going to move on over to the closet and the first thing I'm going to do is take out, I got two new boxes of hangers and I have boxes where I had stored our summer clothes. So I'm going to drag those out of the closet and try and like contain the rest of the mess for now. Then I'm going to go through my clothes, take them off all the old hangers and donate anything that I don't wear anymore. And then the rest of the stuff I'm going to keep, I'm going to hang up on the new hangers. I got pink hangers for myself and black hangers for my husband, just so it looks more cohesive than all the multicolored plastic ones we had right now. These clothes here are definitely not all of the clothes I have. I try to be more minimal with my clothes so I don't have like tons like I used to. But most of my clothes right now are in the laundry cycle somewhere. Most of them are actually in the clean clothes. They're just sitting in baskets because y'all know that I am absolutely terrible at keeping on top of putting clothes away. I'm pretty good at washing and drying the stuff on time but I take like a week or two and then I'll let the clean clothes pile up more and more and more and then finally I will put clean clothes away when we've got like none left in our closet or dresser. It's something that I'm really trying to work on but for some reason it is so hard for me to get into the habit of just putting clothes away as they come out the dryer even though I know that would be way easier than letting it pile up and spending like two hours putting clothes away. I know it'd be easier to just put them away as they come out of the dryer, but for some reason, it's so hard for me to get into that habit, and I've been trying so hard for so long, but it's just not working out for me. And right here you can just see me like debating on where to start with this closet because it was such a mess and I was already feeling overwhelmed and I hadn't done like anything in it yet but I'm just going to take all of those hangers and put them in the donate pile and then just slowly start taking everything out one by one and I forgot to mention earlier I also got these little pink bins that I'm gonna put on top of the shelf in the closet just to look a little nicer and I'm going to try and keep like items in each bin And these papers you see me stacking in front of me here is actually all of my old sheet music from band. Those of you who don't know me may not know that I was a really big band nerd in school through middle and high school. I played clarinet and flute and I like to play with some of the other instruments too, but I really really loved band and I still have a couple of my instruments and all of my sheet music and I still honestly do play from time to time. I don't have quite as much time anymore, but I still love to play and I actually miss the band days. And I'm going to mention this here because I don't remember if I mentioned this earlier in the video, but I'm going to include timestamps so you can skip ahead to whatever parts you want just in case like organizing this closet is not your jam. That's totally fine. I'll include those in the description box. That way y'all can just skip ahead to whatever parts you like to see.
and I totally forgot to angle the camera up here but I'm taking all the stuff that was on that shelf up there I'm taking it all down and trying to kind of organize that and then I'm gonna put these pink boxes back up there on top of that shelf And the rest of the things that didn't really have an exact home, I'm just going to stack in the floor of the closet like these books here. I'm just going to stack them there just because it looks better than it did before and eventually I'll try and find a way to organize the floor of the closet a little better. But for now, I'm just going to stack it all there and then we're going to move on. And throughout this video, you see Elijah coming over to me and handing me his fire tablet. We actually just got those very recently, and so he's not quite sure how to navigate it entirely yet. So anytime he wants to like switch games or anything, he has to bring it to me for help. And I was just letting the kids play on those for now while I was trying to record because this took so long and I didn't want the kids like running off with all the random little things that I was pulling out of the closet because a lot of it was like screwdrivers and who knows what else. So I was just letting them play on those for a little while just so I can try and get this done pretty quick and easy. Here's a better look at what the closet looks like now with our new hangers, the little boxes in the top, and like I said, all the stuff piled on the floor for now, but it's a night and day difference than what it was before. And then for the rest of the stuff, this is all stuff that came out of the closet. I'm going to organize it by like stuff that I need to donate, stuff that I need to wash, stuff that goes in other rooms, and stuff that goes in the trash. All right, and now we're moving on to day two. Day one actually took longer than I thought it would and I just didn't feel like cleaning anymore after that. So now we're gonna finish putting away all of the summer clothes that I got out of the boxes, like our swimsuits and shorts that I'm gonna put in the dresser. And then we're going to tidy up the rest of the house. Nothing too in depth tonight because it was already really close to bedtime by the time I even started today and the kids were really cranky. So we're just going to tidy up real quick and call it a night. And now that we got those put away, we are going to tidy up the house real quick. And 
And this toilet wand here is clean because it's literally brand new, but Elijah drug it out of the closet when I wasn't paying attention. So I'm gonna put that up real quick, but I promise he wasn't playing with like a dirty toilet wand. We had spent most of this day at my parents' house, so I'm going to unpack our diaper bag. Now I'm going to do a quick tidy up of our kitchen and clean up our dinner mess. Normally I would wipe down the countertops and everything like that too, but after I do the dishes, I'm just going to call it a night because at this point it was past bedtime for the kids, even though it's still like daylight out, thank you daylight savings time, but we are going to call it a night after that because they were going absolutely wild at this point. I had to ask my husband for help getting this soap bottle open so I could put it into our little mason jar soap dispenser, but he accidentally like got soap all over the bottle so then it was super slippery for him to open. So he had to go get one of his little tools, whatever it's called, I don't know, to get it open for me so I could pour it into our soap dispenser. Now I'm going to unload some clean dishes from the dishwasher and then reload all those dirty dishes back in. And we have a few left over after the dishwasher's full, but I wasn't gonna hand wash them tonight because like I said earlier, it was already so late. So we're just going to load as much as we can and get those cleaned.
that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to have a little bit more organizing content coming soon, so stay tuned for that. But anyways, thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you made it this far, thank you for watching. How many times am I going to say thank you in this like... 10 seconds here. Anyways, I really hope you will hit that thumbs up button if you like this and hit the subscribe button if you would like to see more. And I will see you then. Bye!